So if anyone was watching the 2014 Honenkamp downhill at Kitzbühel, Austria, they would have heard the story about Bodie Miller, how he came oh so close uh, once again um, to that elusive victory. Um, hopefully he'll come back and, and try to get it in the 75th running, but if he doesn't, he certainly has left his mark there. Um, in training, he blew away the field with a new, new line in one section, the Bodie line, and uh, people were scratching his, their heads. He was a, a second in front of uh, the second-place guy and uh, almost three seconds in front of the whole rest of the field. So um, he, uh, everyone went home that night saying, we got some work to do, we got to study the line that Bodie took. Unfortunately, Bodie had to try it out in training um, before bringing it to the race day, so it gave everyone a chance to, to duplicate it. So, But uh, let's take a look here. I just picked uh, you know another winner from past, Didier Cooch, 2011. This is his winning run here, just to, for comparison on the line and show how a former winning run uh, was different. But you know, while we're here, might as well watch a little more than just where Bodie did it. Kitzbühel's an amazing track. Come out of the gate and immediately flying off the Mouse of Falla. Um, what, what is more amazing in this is how, you know, Bodie's using this year the typical hands at the boots style. Didier, that's crazy. In a full tuck. In the air. That is impressive. Bodie has to stand up to absorb the impact. Uh, Didier in a high tuck. No wonder he won. But let's get down to the good part here. So, Bodie's coming into this section. Let's back up Didier. And clearly Bodie's on a, on a tighter line here. Didier's got to climb the hill a bit. Didier gets himself nice and high up near, near the blue line. Bodie takes a much more direct route right now. He's really heading much more towards the panel. Didier is, is, is way up here in a big sweeping turn. With a lot more real estate. You can see the distance that, you know, Bodie below the blue line. And what does he have to do? He throws in a little stivet. Speed check, gets himself back under control, and engages. Didier is going to be taking this big round line at the top of the turn. And kind of come in straight here. They're both tight to the gate. Didier probably came in with more speed because he was using more of the, of the hill above the pitch. Bodie came a little straighter, but Bodie's exit, so much higher. Didier is going to come down here because of the speed, carry it out much further, trying to arc it out. Now he's got to climb the hill way back up. He's below the blue line. Has a, here he's going back uphill. Bodie smack in the middle of the blue lines. Did not have to climb the hill at all. Much faster coming out of this one. Now, it's, it's not a real good comparison because every year, you know, snow speeds are different. But it just happens to line up with 2011. 
that all the guys that were using the Bodie line ended up to be coming out of here after the Stalhang roadway here at 111. All the guys that were not using the Bodie line came out of there at about 108, which is exactly where Didier, Didier Cooch did uh, when he on, went on to win in 2011. So if Bodie doesn't come back, he left his mark. The Bodie line will live on. A lot of guys tried it in the race, worked for some, didn't work for others, worked for the winner, unfortunately, for Bodie, and he had to give it away in training. But uh, them's the breaks. He had to try it to see if it worked before race day. Hope to see you back there, Bodie, for the 75th.